What's up guys? Um, we've got a real interesting video for you today. Daniel wants to go scout this place. Yeah, that's where I last, a couple years ago, I uh, went duck hunting over there at some game land in Gaffney and I uh, came across a good spot to scout it out and find a good few places to uh, hang a stand or so up, you know. Sounds good. And then after that, we're going to go try to catch some catfish and get a little catch and cook going for y'all. So stay tuned. Let's see how we do. So what we're doing guys is we are scouting a hunting spot that Daniel has been looking at for since he figured out about this place for season coming up. Hey look right below you. Yeah. Oh, look. Yeah, oh, old one. old shell. There's also a trail right here. Comes right here. Right yeah. down that way. Mm -hmm. Oh bro there's big ass nuts. Look. They're getting right here. Look up underneath that tree. That could be water runoff, but I know they're eating these. Oh, look at all these deer tracks. Look at that one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. Look, how, look at this one. These are new. These are from like this morning. Mm -hmm. we're gonna fish, look at them man. big tracks. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to figure out where they come into this pond at mainly. Because if we're going to bow hunt this, we need the, at least a 50 yard area. Yeah, dude, if we can find some trees around this little spot, I think it'd be perfect, perfect bow hunting. Especially with that ridge being right there. Mm-hmm. And it's really easy to get to. It looks like that end over there is going to be the better, the best end for deer traffic-wise. It just makes the most sense, too, with that draw coming down. I want to see what this bench is up here, too. Here's a scrape. What do you say you seen? scrape that bench thing this, this is this one oh yeah and i'm guaranteeing you this is a huge travel trail over here right here yeah right here this looks like a really good area too yeah you're not kidding that was set up perfectly for both of us to sit and we had a wind that was blowing diagonally left mm -hmm. from where we're sitting that would be the perfect wind i think we spot. walk in right there tomatoes I was like, I don't want to uh, be able to watch near that pond. You see where all those tracks were in the mud? Yeah. I want to be able to watch. Because I've always wanted to duck hunt that little water hole. I mean, just to... Just... I did see this tree right here. I didn't know if it would... I mean, it's... This one's really... I mean, it's not bad. And you wouldn't uh. have to get even up as high in this one. This tree might be better, honestly. It's a little further back. How far do you think that is? That's probably only 40, 45 yards. That'd be 20. That's about how far that are my targets looked when we were shooting at them. So that might be 25. Yeah, honestly, that's what I was thinking. 25, 30 yards from here to that little. But you got plenty of cover here. A good sturdy tree. I just, which way would I need to like climb up? I feel like, I have one of my climbers, it's like you're facing towards the tree. And then one of them are facing out. But I really, it's just, it's weird, but I really like the one facing towards the tree because I'm like sitting down while facing the tree and I can stand up like that way, but. Oh, if you got the, if you got the one where you face backward, climb up this side of the tree. Mm -hmm. uh, honestly, I would climb, yeah. I would still climb up facing this way more. Yeah. Because that's probably going to be your most likely area you're going to shoot at a deer, but it also mm -hmm. gives you all of this that you can shoot at. And you only have what? 10 inches? of tree no, that you can't have many. work yeah. around. All right, there goes, there goes, there goes, there goes. Wait, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Take it. Yeah, he's on. Oh yeah. Hey boy, first one of the night. Oh yeah. yeah. Daniel's got number two. Oh, Daniel's, oh, yeah. up, Daniel's up two nothing. Yeah. Daniel and I teamed up on one here. <laughs> I set the hook and handed him the rod. Yeah, I was... Got it. Well, literally, I just smacked the rod. Well, I didn't have the GoPro on, but caught another one. 
Yep. Oh, we did get him? Yep. Thank you. Well, we have fire, so I should probably start putting wood on. Ouch. Mm, we got one left. Mmm. Alright, so I mixed in the blackening seasoning, taking the marination. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Guys, doesn't this just look amazing? We got whole deep fried catfish and then sweet potato chips with brown sugar and salt on them. All right, we're about to give these things a old taste test. Going in for the uh, sweet potato chip. Pretty good. <clears throat> yeah. Those are freaking amazing. That's good, crispy sweet potato chip. Well, we already knew that because we've been eating them while the fish were cooking. Oh. This is what I'm excited for, the fish. That's, that's crazy, ain't it? That's good. <laughs> it's so good, but oh, it's so good. it burnt my mouth so bad. <laughs> yeah, that's really good, dude. Well, it's Adirans and the blackening. You can taste the lemon hot sauce. Oh, wow. That's good. And the hot sauce is a little, like, the hot sauce didn't show up as much as I thought it would. Mm -hmm. We should probably let it soak more. Yeah, soak Marinate. longer. Marinate longer, yeah. I love that. It's great, dude. Talk about that tail. Oh, yeah, the tail. Here, split it. I'm about to eat the tail of the catfish. Mm. I don't know. Some people like it. You like it? It's not bad. Burnt. It's not definitely bad. burnt. Yeah, it's kind of burnt. All right, yeah. Um, we scouted today in uh, Gaffney Game Land, public land, and uh, we found some really good spots down in there. I believe it'll be a really good spot. How'd what you do you think? I think it'll be great. And then after that, we went fishing. Uh, we went to Lake Thickety and Gaffney. Yeah, and then came back here, cooked up a good meal because we were hungry and thirsty from scouting and fishing all day. All right, guys. Catch you next time.